Welcome to the round nine Ajax match preview. Joining me tonight is Daniel Goodman. Daniel, welcome. Thank you very much for having me on, Fett. Now, uh, you were in the twos for the first six rounds. You were kicking some goals, you were playing some pretty good football. And then, a senior call up a couple of weeks ago. And then on the weekend, you were the Beyond Coconut Water player of the round. Talk us through your initiation uh, to senior football in the, in the last couple of weeks. I, yeah, it's been really good. I wasn't really expecting um, the call up, but you know, Marty gave me a call and I told him I'd give it my all, give it a crack. And it's been good. The pace is a lot quicker than um, the res is, but you know, the bodies are the same, sort of big bodies. Um, it's great getting the crowds down. The ones get huge crowds compared to the resis, so you know, it's great playing in front of a um, great big crowd. So uh, no, it's been really good, it's really enjoyable. And obviously in, in your first game, limited game time to be fair, but then with Zach Braun going out uh, last game, you had to shoulder the, the, all the rucking by yourself. Um, how, how did you take that challenge? I, yeah, it was really good. As you said, in the first, um, my first game for the seniors, you know, I, it was great to get the opportunity, but um, it was sort of hard to get into the game um, with the limited game time. But last week, it was really good. You know, could get straight into the game, got a lot of game time. So, um, yeah, it was really good getting that opportunity with Zach out of the team. Against Old Halibur on the weekend, you kicked your first senior goal in front of the home crowd. What was that like? It was actually, I was telling the Resis guys, it was actually one of the best feelings. So I was laying out for goal, I thought, I can't miss this. If I miss this, I was going to kick myself. So I kicked it, and it was, you know, everyone got around me, obviously, and I heard the Resis were up from the balcony, and I was smashing on the balcony. Apparently, they got into a bit of trouble for that. Uh, but that was really good. Really good. Around the club, you seem like a very likeable character. Is that because you're a genuinely good bloke or because the midfielders want you tapping the ball and handballing the ball to them? Thanks for that, <laughs> um, Well, I reckon it must be because they want me tapping the ball down to them for sure. You know, Dolph, I think he gets around me a bit because in the twos, you know, he wants me to give him some clean hit outs. So I, th I think that that's why. Massive game against the Ladder Leaders uh, on Saturday against Bo Morris there at Bankster Reserve, top of the table. Um, I'm sure it would have been brought up in the team meetings that you're coming up against a St Kilda champion. His name is Stephen Mill. Has there been much planning put into him? Uh, yeah, there's, there's been quite a lot of planning put in. Marty spoke to us on Tuesday and um, tonight about how we're going to counteract their strengths. Um, I better not give too much away, otherwise Marty might kill me, just in case Bo Morris is watching this, which I very well could be. So, um, yeah, but um, no, we've got a lot of good players in place and I reckon all the boys think that we can really win this, me included. So um, it should be a really good game. Now, uh, this is the next stage of the interview where we get a lot of the questions in from the boys, so uh, just get ready for this. The comparisons between you and Max Gorn from Melbourne have surfaced this year. Doc Paltiel wants to know, at what stage did, did you decide to shave the beard and has it helped your form? Well, you know, the beard was really top heavy, it was weighing me down, sort of. So, um, yeah, you know, I had to give it a shave and my form's picked up ever since. Now, this, was, this is a good one from Ollie Hoffman. Can you shed some light on the Salmon Boot Gate? Salmon Boot Gate, talk to us about it. Well, my boots tore, this was probably about round four or five. Couldn't play with them anymore, even though a lot of the boys think that I just want an excuse to get a new pair of boots. But so I rocked up to Rebel and they had these bright purple boots, or well, these salmon boots, and you know, I don't mind the salmon colour, so I went with them. Now, Jordan Tonkin is uh, at the moment the happiest guy in the club in the playing seniors. <laughs> uh, he wants to know, was the confidence you gained from your success at the Ajax party the catalyst for your video at Rise Before? <laughs> I think we'll pass on that question. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Goody, thanks for, thanks for joining us and good luck against the mighty task of uh, facing Bo Morris on the weekend. Of course, it's at Banksia Reserve, uh, Bo Morris at 2pm. Thanks for joining us and hope to see you there.